I'm sure we've all seen videos of the Tesla Model S Plaid absolutely dominating the drag strips in real life. It can do a 9.2 second quarter mile straight out of the box. It is absolutely insane. A Tesla Model S costs around 150,000 bucks. Could we build something for less money than that, but that can go faster? Than that. Anyways, if you want to try this out for yourself, feel free. There are a couple of rules. For today's video, we are banning the welcome pack cars because they're not really real cars per se. As per usual, we're not allowed to use the auction house and we're not allowed to use any free cars. This is the track we're going to be using. I actually went in and I made a quarter mile drag strip that is perfectly accurate because for some reason there still isn't one in the game. If you want to try it out for yourself, there's the share code. All right, so take a look at the GT. Like it's all wheel drive. It's got nearly 600 horsepower and you get it off the line basically with launch control and all sorts of stuff like that. And you can make it to the line in a 10.9 second quarter mile. In real life, that would be an insane time for a GTR. We basically need to go two seconds faster than that while pretty much spending the same amount of money. Right out of the gate, this is gonna be harder than I think. Actually, okay, I feel like a Nissan GTR isn't actually a bad place to start if I go for this one. I've just had another super good idea for cars that we we can use for this challenge. Okay, one second. Let's start with this GTR. We definitely need to rip out all of the extra weight. So 667 pounds. I'm also going to go for some drag racing tires. Those cost 10,000 bucks. And then I think we're going to go for some big turbos and some better camshaft. I think I'm just going to go more horsepower. So we'll upgrade the exhaust and basically get maximum beans on our GTR. I have literally spent 149,750 credits. Is 1,000 horsepower enough power to take down a Tesla Model S? Okay, I'm gonna need to fix up my first gear just so I can get off the line a little bit quicker. Oh, we are absolutely flying this time around. I think we're good. 8.7. A 1,000 horsepower GTR. Just good enough. I've got an idea. Do we think the Sierra buggy can do it? The Sierra race car is 70,000 credits. I definitely need all-wheel drive with this thing if I'm gonna pull some absurd times. I'm also gonna want some drag racing tires, so we're already up to 90,000 credits. I think I just need to upgrade the horsepower on this thing and kind of hope for the best. Oh my god! A thousand horsepower? All right, Elon Musk, eat your heart out. Over a thousand horsepower in this little thing and significantly cheaper than a Tesla Model S Plaid. Oh my god, that gets off the I'm gonna run out of gears. <laughs> See you later, Elon Musk. Goodbye, 149,000. Hello, 110,000 credits. That's ridiculous. That's so cheap. It's not exactly a road car at the end of the day, so we'll still give the Tesla the benefit of the doubt. So the Sierra is an awesome car, but I definitely need to try a little harder to go less than 100,000 credits. The thing is, is we need such like a good engine. Actually, that's a really good engine. Napalm Nova built by the Hoonigan boys. I don't want to get into any engine swap shenanigans. I think we can save that money and spend it elsewhere. Like all wheel drive for 10,000 credits twin turbos for less than 2,000, and then drag tires for 10,000. Oh my god. Definitely, I want some weight reduction for this thing. That's cheap. Good bang for buck there. I can basically spend 50,000 credits on upgrades, and I'll be sub 100,000 overall, which is pretty good. We've only spent 91,000 credits on the Napalm Nova. 936 horsepower. I think this could work. We're aiming for a 9.2 second quarter mile. So all we need to get is a 9.1 to technically take down the Tesla. Very good launch off the line. Bottled the gears and I'm out of gears. Was that fast enough? Was that fast? Oh, we matched it. Can I extend the gear ratios? Oh my God. Yes, I can. Thank you, game. I thought we were screwed with the Napalm Nova. But now with those gear ratios, easy claps. So easy. Man, that's such a sick car. 
with a simple gear ratio change, an 8.8 .8 on the quarter mile. So that was 91,000. 150 credits. If my goal is to get 75,000 credits or less, what the hell am I gonna use? Napalm Nova was definitely a good choice, but I need something else with a super strong engine. I mean, we could always go with the regular Toyota Supra. Like, we banned the welcome pack, but we could go for that one. I don't know. Or do we want some V8 in our life? You know what? An all-wheel drive Mustang with twin turbos. Someone says an all-wheel drive Mustang. Damn, that sounds like a whole lot of freaking sin. <laughs> I'm liking this strategy of all-wheel drive twin turbos. For now, I'm gonna keep running the drag tires, even though they're pretty expensive. We're already at 60,000 credits for this thing. I'm gonna upgrade the twin turbos, upgrade the camshafts. Uh-oh. I don't know if we're getting this thing sub 75,000. I'm not sure if that's possible. I'm gonna go for some weight reduction. I think I'll give that ago. This thing is so underpowered though. 830 horsepower, the slowest car we've tried so far by far. Come on, Mustang. 830 horsepower, please be enough. The gears are always sus. Every time I toss the all-wheel drive on, it's just like, it just ruins the launch. No. No. Yes! I can't believe that works! 76 thousand credits that's awesome would you have one tesla model s or two 800 horsepower ford mustangs twitch chat does bring up a really good point i should try to pick cars that are all-wheel drive bone stock then that way i don't need to spend 10k upgrading the all-wheel drive system what if i go for the old clapped out mitsubishi all right a lot of twitch chat wants the evo 6 we will go evo 6 for the people so 28,000 credits for the car so like we've already got a turbo we've already got the all-wheel drive if i go to upgrade the turbo oh my god God, 232 horsepower. Race cams, 150 horsepower. This might actually be possible. So we'll go for a little bit of power upgrades there. Then we'll go for some weight reduction. I feel like weight reduction's just gotta be one of the most worth it things. Do I actually need drag tires? Probably, right? Probably. Maybe I'll just toss on one more thing to give it a little bit more horsepower and I'll call it a day there. 760 horsepower. We gotta do it. I don't think this thing's gonna do it, but I would really want it to do it. Come on, come on. It gets no wheel spin off the line. Just is it fast enough? No. No, not even close. Not even close. I'll try it manual with clutch and maybe shorten up the gears a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna help. Come on, car. It's so just, it's so slow. You need mega amounts of horsepower, like. We shaved off a little bit of time there for using clutch, but not enough. The Evo 6, we wave goodbye. Is it really time for us to jump in a Supra and whip out more JDM boys? This version is loud. This one isn't. I need the big single turbo for 1,800 credits. Super budget friendly. And then I need the upgrade. 750 horsepower already. I definitely need some drag tires for this thing. Let's go weight reduction. Weight reduction should be good. Maybe I'll make my rear tires a little thicker just so I don't have any issues with grip. 593 horsepower. All right, well, if this can't do it, I don't, I don't know. 1,300 horsepower. I'm still running manual with clutch, but I'm rear wheel drive now. So, oh my God. That's a bit sus, not gonna lie. I'm gonna definitely need to work on my law. I, I, I never mind. <laughs> Maybe the whole thing about Supras being really fast is warranted. So 62,750 credits. Immediately, I'm drawn to this 323 GTR. Wait, wait, where's the Nissan Pulsar? That should be in here too. Yo, the Pulsar is even better. We've got all wheel drive bone stock. Do I want to swap the end? Wait, wait, I could swap the engine. I didn't know that engine swap was available. How much horsepower can this engine get when I swap? Oh, BMW engine does us dirty. 41,000 credits on upgrades. This is 61,000 credits, this car. Apologies in advance. This is a waste of time. It's just... Like, it's fast. It's a cool car. But it's just... 
Closer than I thought it would be. That didn't go very well for the little pulsar. Am I really about to jump into the Voxel Monaro? The Voxel's not gonna do it, right? Like, as OP as the Voxel has been for our previous challenges, I don't think the Voxel's fast enough for this. I might need drag, or drag tires for this. I'm not sure. So we're up to 35,000 credits already, and we've got 800 horsepower. Okay, 16,000 credits. And then I'm going to go drag tires. This is 51,000 credits invested. Weight reduction. Okay. 25,000 credits for the car. 29,000 credits on upgrades. The Voxel Monaro might be king again. I think this has got to work, right? Come on, Voxel. Oh, that's a big wheel spinny start. I don't know if we lost too much time there, but come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How is that so slow? That's so slow. I'm gonna give it one more go, but that's ridiculous. That's as little wheel spin as I'm gonna get. That's just kind of ridiculous. That's... Ah! You know it's a bad sign when the Voxel Monaro can't even get itself onto the leaderboard. Am I really about to go back to the Supra and make the Supra go for less? 38,000 for the car. I definitely need the big single turbo. And then I definitely need drag tires. You know what? I'm just gonna go maximum horsepower and minimal grip. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I've still got drag tires, so maybe I can go fast. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Out of first right away. Second, not bad. Third, okay, decent. And then get up to fifth right away. Did we do it? Did we do it? Yes! See you later, Tesla! 56,000 credits is our new budget. After an hour and a half, we have to ask Elon a question. What color is your Supra, bro? 